Once again, it is time to blow the smoke of clarity on the news events of the day. And I think we've all recognized that, uh, you know, the last year or so has been rough. Some people haven't been able to work, and to them, our hearts and sympathies go out to. Other people have been stuck at home, and they're nightlife type people, and they're feeling trapped. Other people are allowed to telework, work from home, or they're entrepreneurs, and that's how they work anyway, or they're internet warriors, internet trolls. Oh, hey, got to make a living, right? Anyway, it seems that there's a study out there that's saying that people are drinking more now that they're working from home. I wouldn't know anything about that. Nothing at all. Well, let's see what this uh, study finds. Oh, look at that. It says study finds up there. Again, 100% yellow rated, yellow news card rated sources are what we use here. And uh, I can't read that. It's too small. Right. For Americans working from home in 2020, it seems happy hour is starting a little earlier than usual. A new survey finds many people are nearly half of adults... Wait. A new survey finds many people are nearly half of adults working... A, um... An editor. Let's try that. So, a new survey finds that nearly half of adults working remotely have secretly signed off early to have a drink. Why... Why sign off early when... You can just... Oh, God. It burns! <coughs> The survey polled 2,000 Americans, approximately 800 of whom are over 21, and working from home. So does that mean the other uh, 1,200 are under the age of 21? Or just not working from home? Maybe a little clarity there. It'd be really interesting to find out that 16-year-olds are at home getting drunk. Don't do it, kids. It's not legal. And why only at home? If you're, if I'm at work, you better not be within six feet of me. Or are you going to try to slap this out of my hand? Better be plastic, man. Whew. So unless you got that six foot arm reach, I'm drinking at work too. 46% of those working from home have clocked out early to pour themselves a drink at least once during the time in quarantine. Another 45% of these respondents have even admittedly taken the liberty of having an alcoholic drink during the workday. Now, who could possibly want to do that? Conducted by one poll on behalf of HOPWTR, the survey discovered that 53% of those polled have been drinking alcohol more frequently during the lockdown. Well, first of all, I say this is a bad habit. How is this a bad habit? Alcohol is good for you, especially since you can't go outside and exercise right now. Everything's locked down. Alcohol, what, a glass of wine is good for you? If a glass of wine is good for you, obviously 10 glasses of wine has to be better for you, right? I mean, that's just math. If one is good, 10 is better. Keep drinking. And then you'll be healthy and you won't have to go outside and run around. More than 6 in 10 employed respondents, 1,400 people, shared that the virtual happy hours with their co-workers has increased their alcohol intake during the quarantine. Over half, 52% of respondents also said that they felt the need to drink while watching the news this year, and they average about four adult beverages each week. That's it? Four? I'm hitting four during this segment. Oh, God. Yeah. It's no surprise that 6 in 10 adults are shared that they'll be trying to drink less for the remainder. <laughs> yeah, there we go. The remainder of 2020. It's because they're a bunch of quitters. 
They don't understand the health benefits. Or they might actually be depressed, saddened by the fact that they can't hang around with their dirty, smelly co-workers who uh, eat their food or chew with their mouths open or you know, spit in the trash can. Or they're drinking because they're at home, spending time with their wife and children. Can't say, honey, I'm working. She doesn't care. She's going to give you the honey-do list anyway. Two and five of all 2,000 respondents shared they've been snacking more and enjoying more comfortable foods as quarantine continues. Americans have also been stress eating an average of three times a week. And you know, when you don't go to work and don't have that guy to sit there and say, hey, baby, looks like you're putting on a few pounds. It's just going to keep happening. You're going to go back to work. And you're going to find out that you're now a fatty fat and nobody likes you like you used to. No more uh, no more little shindigs with the boss behind the, uh, behind the desk. It's just not going to happen. There's going to be no more let's pull the curtains down. It's not going to happen anymore. You're actually going to be expected to work for that pay. Or drink more alcohol at work. Other bad habits picked up during the time included drinking too much caffeine... And staying in pajamas all day. Hey, you know what? If that's all that fits you now, that's all you've got. Each day, as each day drags into the next, it's no surprise that one in ten respondents working from home say it's getting harder and harder to get out of bed. Again, that's because you're a fat, disgusting, lazy body. It's not the alcohol. The alcohol will get that energy going. Take those, get those inhibitions, move them away, and you want to pop out of bed and seize the day. Carpe diem. During the work week, and often oversleep. This isn't an issue exclusive to those working from home either, as 32% of all respondents say they just aren't getting enough sleep during quarantine. With all these bad habits adding up, 45% of the polls say they'll worry they'll never be able to snap out of these routines. I was that statistic, admits Hop WTR founder Nick Toronto. In a statement, I found myself reaching for one too many IPAs, putting on weight, waking up hungover more days than I could justify. I wanted to break the habit. When I couldn't find the healthy alternative beer, I decided to create it. I wanted something that pays homage to my favorite IPA, but rather than leave me with a cloudy head that night, wow. <laughs> but rather than leave me with a cloudy head that night, and the next day actually clears the brain fog because it's packed with nootropics rather than booze. Um, so Toronto, Toronto, Tar Taranto, Tarantino, Toronto couldn't even commit to his own mental happiness. This is what's going on with COVID-19. This is what's going down with quarantine. This is what's going down with lockdowns. And this is what's going on with masks is people's mental health is fading away. This guy can't even stay drinking properly. This is why the American dream is dead. Entrepreneurship is gone. He made up a new word. Nootropics? That's a word he made up while suffering from sobriety. It's not even a real word. Look it up. You won't find it unless somebody scribbled it in the dictionary. As Americans look to the new year, 7 in 10 respondents said that they plan on starting 2021 with a clean slate to improve their health. Remember, a glass of wine is good for you. Ten glasses of wine is better for you. Also know that a clean slate means less productive co-workers. Less inner office hookups. And remember, sex is a good thing for the mind, body, and soul. Size, science has proven it. So if you don't have those inhibitions, how can you have the office sex? How can the boss have his way with that hot blonde secretary who now becomes a VIP somewhere without any experience. That is the natural order of things. Rich guys get hot women. Hot women get great jobs. It's the circle of life. As it should be. Also, inner office hookups are covered by every responsible insurance health care plan. It's just like massages and chiropractic, except for sex actually has science behind it. 2020 has been rough, so it's no surprise alcohol intake has increased, Toronto acknowledges. 
But since this is going on longer than most of us imagine it would, and our levels of alcohol consumption aren't sustainable if we want to remain healthy. Well, build up that tolerance, buddy. That's all you have to do. Build up the tolerance you can have more, you'll be healthier. It's just like working out, you know? One day you can only do 20 bench presses. Then you're adding weight on, now you're doing only 15, but you're doing with 100 more pounds. Getting that muscle, things built up. You run a mile and you're dying, running up that hill, running down that hill. A couple weeks later, you're running three miles. A couple months later, you're running a marathon. You gotta exercise the liver. This is a depressing article. And I, I really hope, I hope it's not true because it's just more evidence that uh, this pandemic, it's a disaster for all of us. Get out there, drink, drink heavily, and have inner office sex. Blowing smoke. Please.